everyone, I'm Noreen and welcome to my kitchen. And this is Sammy, our beagle. Many of you already know Sammy. You also know Sophie and Sissy, our other three dogs. And today I'm not here with a recipe. Today I'm here to just do a little introduction because my daughter Molly, as a part of her early college curriculum, is required to do a graduation project. And they start that in their sophomore year. As a part of the project, they have to write a research paper, they have to do copious research on a certain topic after they choose a topic, and they have to do a community service project, they have to have a mentor, and they have to do a presentation before a live panel. Molly chose animal research as her topic for her graduation project. And as her community service project, to correlate with that, she is raising money for the Beagle Freedom Project. And the reason that we chose that is because it is a charity that is close to our hearts. It is a chosen charity of our family. And what Beagle Freedom Project does is they raise awareness and they rescue beagles, which are the number one breed of animal used in medical research and all sorts of research today. Commercial research, cosmetics, hair products, shampoo, you name it. Animal testing. Animal testing. 90% of the time is done on beagles if they're using dogs. But Beagle Freedom Project doesn't just rescue beagles, they rescue dogs, they res of all kinds, they rescue cats, they rescue rabbits, they rescue pigs, horses, you name it. They've, they've rescued so many different kinds of animals in their first year that is absolutely incredible. They've rescued animals here in the United States and they've rescued animals from labs in Spain. I'm going to yield the floor to my daughter and I'm going to allow her to explain to you a little more about her project. I'm so thankful that you allowed me to come to you today and kind of indulge me and uh, have Molly present this to you. If you feel um, that you are able to, if you are able to make a contribution to Molly's cause, we are raising money on Fundly.com. We will put all the links below for all the uh, information that you will need to make a decision. Anything you do decide to contribute of any amount of money, if you decide to make a contribution, is appreciated. And if you are unable to afford to make a contribution, please do not make one. We understand this is hard economic times. Molly has set a goal for herself and she is slowly reaching that goal. We would love for her to reach or even exceed that goal. All the money that she raises is going to go to Beagle Freedom Project. And before I get too carried away, I'm just gonna yield the floor. So here's Molly and she's gonna explain even more to you about what she's doing. Gastineau and at my school it is required for a high school curriculum to um, do a graduation project and for my graduation paper I chose the topic of animal testing um, and how it is inhumane and morally wrong that was my thesis and you are required to do a 10-hour service-based product and I chose to raise money for the Beagle Freedom Project. The Beagle Freedom Project is an organization, nonprofit, who go out and rescue beagles from um, labs and testing areas where they've been tested on all their life and they've never seen the light of day. Um, I chose them because I am, I have a beagle myself and I love her to death. I am totally against the uh, prospect of animal testing and all the cruelty that they go through. Um, we are required to do 10 hours of this project um, and I decided to sell wristbands and raise money online to help them with their um, rescuing, to raise money for their rescuing and to, ra to raise money in awareness of the Beagle Freedom Project. At my school and around town I've been selling wristbands right here. Um, they say Timmy of the Beagle Freedom Project. They're white, they're red, and they have white lettering on them. Um, my mentor, you're required to have a mentor, and my mentor is actually part of Beagle Freedom Project and her name is Monique Hansen. She has helped me through a lot and 
she's helped me uh, get the idea and she sent me the bracelets. Um, we were actually going to sell like Beagle Freedom Project bracelets, like get them made and all, but they didn't have any of those, so she kindly sent me some of these from her first rescue of a dog named Timmy. And she also sent me these wonderful cards, and on the back it has uh, Timmy the dog's life story. Um, and also whenever I sell these at school and around town, they get this card, and they also get the Beagle Freedom Project um, business card. Online, I am raising money through a site called Fundly.com. There is my entire story and my reasoning on why I'm doing this on there. And uh, my goal it was $1,000. I lowered it to $500 because I wasn't quite sure I could get to $1,000 on time. Um, I do have two weeks left to raise $1,000. I put it back at $1,000. I am currently at $575. There was a nice man who donated $295 to my campaign, and I could not thank him enough. There was also someone that donated $50, and everyone that's donated $25, and everyone that supported my campaign. Thank you so much. It means the world to me. Um, I cannot wait to find out and see where all this takes Beagle Freedom Project and how much this helps them out. I appreciate them so much and I am so thankful for everyone who has donated and supported my campaign and hope that maybe you guys can donate and support to my campaign as well. Thank you so much for watching and listening. Bye! for joining me in my kitchen today. I hope you like what you watched today and I hope that you try it and I hope that you love it. Um, if you like what you saw, please consider hitting the thumbs up button and giving me a positive rating. And also, make sure that you hit the subscribe button if you're already not a subscriber so that you don't miss out on any of the fun we have here in our kitchen every single day. You can also follow me on Facebook and Twitter and Pinterest and Instagram and Google Plus and Blogger. I have a blog over there and you can take a look at that. You can um, subscribe to that feed as well. And don't forget that every recipe that you see me um, do here on YouTube, with the exception of a few earlier ones, you can access all of the recipes over on my website, NareenSKitchen.com, where you will find printer-friendly versions of those recipes so you can print them out and keep them for your own. So, I hope that you enjoyed it. I'm really glad that you're here. Thank you for stopping by. Don't forget to come by tomorrow. Until next time, happy eating!